the ugly head of anti-Caucasian racism made itself well known yesterday during the coronation and not just on social media but also on our TV screens. I think all the British TV channels produce their own coverage of the coronation and don't let the lefties tell you that there is no enthusiasm for the monarchy in this country anymore because it's not true. Did you see the size of that crowd completely filling the mall all the way down to Buckingham Palace when the royal family did the balcony thing? It's like the time the lefties told us that hardly anyone went to Washington to see Donald Trump being inaugurated as President of the United States that day, when the opposite was true. I myself covered a fair few mileage yesterday, and I saw plenty of bunting. There were no street parties, but there were a fair few streets closed off and people gathering, drinking and generally celebrating it, so, you know, don't let the hateful left convince you otherwise. Now, ITV had their own coverage of the coronation, and they had guests on, just like any other channel. And what happened next, I expected from probably Channel 4 and BBC, the most woke TV stations here in Britain. But it didn't really surprise me, because I knew it was going to happen, and someone was going to say it, and it was the usual suspect. And this comment was made while these guests were sat in a makeshift studio outside Buckingham Palace, and it was made by a woman called Adjoa Ando. Now, Adjoa Ando is an actress. She has played some lead roles with the Royal Shakespeare Company, a prestigious uh, acting company, and the National Theatre. She is of Ghanaian descent, and what she said was simply racist. Now, after the balcony bit on Buckingham Palace with the fly past and the crowds cheering, after the diversity of the coronation, we were then given a terribly white balcony. So she essentially said the royal family was too white. And I think this is outrageous because nobody in the studio challenged her. I mean, Mylene Class, a Z-list celebrity here in the UK, she gave her a puzzled look, but nobody said anything. No Caucasian person in that studio challenged this uh, supremely privileged and aloof racist black actress. And that's the thing. We have been conditioned now to allow this to happen for fear of being called racists ourselves. Now, there would have been diversity on the balcony with the royal family. However, Harry and Meghan decided to burn their bridges, didn't they? Meghan was literally welcomed with open arms into the royal family. But when she found out it was actually about working, having to meet other people, and knowing your place within the royal family hierarchy and not being a Disney princess, she didn't like it. So she pulled out the race card and off she went and she took Harry with her. And that's it. It's that simple of a story. Now this Adjula Ando might be a supremely privileged actress to have roles, lead roles, mind you, in British theatre companies, but she's also a quite stupid one, because she is currently starring in a Netflix series called Queen Charlotte. Now, Queen Charlotte is a spin-off from the Bridgerton TV series, and it is based on the life of a real Queen Charlotte, who was the wife of King George III back in the 19th century. And for some baffling reason, this Adjula Ando believes that the real Queen Charlotte, unlike the black Queen Charlotte in the Netflix series, was actually black. (laughs) Despite the fact that she was actually a Caucasian German woman. Now, can you imagine we were covering a black royal family's coronation and a Caucasian actor or actress commented after the balcony bit that they were a terribly black family? So why is it okay to dismiss a white family for being white? They did, after all, try to introduce a bit of multiculturalism and diversity into their ranks, but it didn't work out, and we are left with what we have, which is something that has always been so, historically and culturally. And quite frankly, this was yet another uh, racist attack on an institution that belongs to us as a people, This Adjula Ando is the perfect recruiting poster for the real far right. People will see what she said unchallenged and think, why is she getting away with this? 
Why are we as a people getting attacked for our skin colour? It's absolutely horrendous, isn't it? And it's going to continue until people start challenging these uh, racists, correcting them and putting them in their place. Racism swings both ways, it really does. And as for Adjoa Ando, I think she's currently playing Richard III in some place somewhere. I, I shit you not. Richard III, an alleged hunchback Caucasian medieval British king back in the day. But there we go. It's okay when they do it, isn't it? And that's my video. I hope you like. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, have a great weekend. Look after yourselves and Roger Trout.